Okay, everybody, so I have an update for you here um, for how I want you to submit all of your SolidWorks drawings. So I've had a number of students contact me to let me know that they're having some issues with um, accessing their Z drive. Um, and, and I understand that. And so what we're gonna do, remember I told you before that there's a possibility that we will go to plan B and, uh, and utilize that one moving forward. And, and we're gonna implement that one right now. So from here moving forward, I'm gonna have you guys start to save your work into Google Drive and link those um, assignments to me, all right? Um, I'm spending hours trying to find assignments that are sometimes not even there in your Z Drive. So as part of your assignment, as part of getting credit for it, it's going to be submitting the file via Google Drive so that I can actually find it um, instead of hunting for it, all right? So a couple of things that I wanna tell you. Um, I created a new um, account. Um, if you guys look in your uh, Google Classroom files, at least for TechEd, there's a new student and the new student is called MS TechEd uh, student. <laughs> and that MS TechEd student is me. So um, you can see that I have um, joined as eighth grade, I just joined uh, UA12 period seven class. Um, I will join the others at a later time, but I wanted to leave these guys up here for you. And I joined one of my seventh grade groups and one of my sixth grade groups. Um, but so this is my class. All right. So I am a student in my class, just like you guys are. And the reason it's important for me to show you guys this is because as a student, you see different things than the teacher does. So for me to do a demo for you, I need to be able to do uh, an appropriate demo as a student, right? If I go in here to classwork, this is the classwork that me, the MS Tech Ed student is assigned. So the first one was just having you guys go in and access SolidWorks and letting me know you got it. Some of you have, some of you have not. The other one was to create a practice drawing. Some of you have, and some of you have not. Um, I had a number of you who struggled with being able to save it in the Z drive. That's not your fault. So we're going to try and work a better solution around it. It's gonna be a little tricky here at first, but moving forward, it's gonna be a lot easier for you guys and a lot easier for me. So if I click the classwork right here, you can see that this is the assignment and I go ahead and I click view assignment. One of the things that you see as a student that I can't show you from my teacher account is you can add your work to here and submit it, all right? Um, I can see when you submit it as a teacher, um, but what I cannot do is show you this from my teacher account. So what I'm gonna do is I'm back in here in SolidWorks from the remote app, like you guys have to access it, and I'm gonna show you guys how to submit it as a Google Drive file, which then notifies me. And it's really, really easy to do it this way, all right? So from here, File, Save As. So it's the same first step as if you were to save it in the Z Drive. The difference being that you're gonna save it in the Google Drive file stream down here. This is located under this PC. Now, if you guys haven't, haven't um, done this, expanded it, you're not gonna find any of this stuff. But if you either open Quick Access or this PC, you're gonna see the Google Drive file stream. Now, I've had a number of kids say, I can't find that. Well, if you can't find it, the reason you can't find it is there's a very good likelihood that you never linked it, all right? So from the launchpad.classlink.com that I've had you guys browse to before, if you go down here to My Files and you click this, this is gonna bring up a number of different drives that you all have, all right? If you click Manage Services, you can see that I have linked my Google Drive. I could disconnect it here if I wanted. I do not want to do that, so I'm not going to do that. I could also connect OneDrive if I wanted, and I'm not using that right now, so I'm not going to connect it. This is my MS Tech Ed student account, all right? You got to click it. If you click it and you go back to SolidWorks and it doesn't show up when you do Save As, which I've had happen, what you typically have to do is you have to restart your computer. Just go back and restart it, open everything back up, and then it all sticks and everything should be there. So I unfortunately, I can't control that for you guys. Um, that's something that once you get it to be there, it should be there for good. 
And, um, you know, it's just one of those hoops we have to jump through. It's, it's a little painful at first, which is why I've been going pretty slowly. So as I told you, we want to save this in that Google Drive file stream. So I'm just going to go ahead and click this. When I do that, my drive shows up here. You have to double click that. And inside of there, you're going to get a folder that's called Classroom. Now, when you double click this, it's going to have my class my tech ed class and every other class that you guys have as well too should be in there. So as I told you, I only joined one of my eighth grade groups to, in order to make this a little simpler to show you guys. And um, that's where I'm gonna choose. I'm gonna click that right here. And you can see I actually saved it earlier. Um, I'm going to save this as my first name, my last name. You guys please replace this with your first name and last name to make it nice and easy on me. And I'm gonna call this um, practice assignment. This really isn't our assignment one yet. We're just kind of practicing and trying to get everything down. I'm going to go ahead and click save. All right. So I've saved that in that Google Drive folder. Now, if you guys go back to your Google class, here is where you can attach it. So um, you're going to send it to me as my assignment. Here's how you do it. Go in, make sure you get it in the right one click add or create and you're going to click Google Drive and you can go back into here now I'm actually that you can see that I have a couple files here these are previous ones that I've done today it's probably going to show up here this is it just for the record but if you don't see it you can actually go to my drive you can actually upload a file here if you wanted to um, I'm going to click my drive I'm going to go to classroom I'm going to go to eighth grade and there it is. So I just click it. I hit add and you can see that it's uploading right here. And all you've got to do, you can send me a note, a private comment if you want. Nobody sees that and you can click turn in. Go ahead and turn in. All right. Now from your end, you're like, all right, did he get it? Well, what I can tell you 100% is in a couple of seconds, something's going to pop up here. I'm going to get an email that, MS Tech Ed student um, submitted a file. Um, I'm also going to get a bing on my phone. I just got it right now that um, a person, a student submitted um, something as well too. So I'm going to get an email. I'm going to get something on my phone as well too. And if I go over to my teacher login right here, if I go back to my teacher login and I go to people, so this is eighth grade, day one two period seven I go to people sorry I'm gonna to go to classwork it's easier this way and my pro tips I can see that four people turned it in and one of the people that turned it in is MS Tech Ed student all right so these guys here turned it in I appreciate that guys um, we don't have it as an attachment because I didn't tell you to do that but if I click this now you will see I can download this if I want um, is it gonna work let me cross my fingers it's downloading right here yeah so um, I'm able to open that uh, on my end I should be able to open that in SolidWorks and it should view it it's there we go it's right here so um, I can see that preview and I can tell if you guys did what I asked you to do and I really appreciate that um, the other thing that I can do is I can then return this so um, I can leave a grade I can leave a comment and I very likely will say thank you I got it and um, go ahead and return that and post that comment. So um, again, you guys can go back in as a student and you can um, see your work, which is, which is great. You can see it not only uh, for my class, but you can see it for all of your classes. And me as the tech ed student, I'm able to see that I turn this in right here. Um, and this one that I necessarily have not. So there's a little bit of a slow start for us. But this is the way that I want us to submit everything from here on moving forward. And um, this should make your life a little simpler. Um, this should be a lot more reliable and it's gonna prevent me from having to search like crazy for files and, and um, you know sometimes not be able to find them. So uh, you guys try that out, leave me a comment and uh, we will be following up soon here with our first real drawing in SolidWorks assignment number one. Um, you guys have a great day.